I'm talking today to Moses Fabatope, who is the Special Projects Manager for the Odeon Greenwich, part of the Odeon Cinema chain in London, and one of the major theatrical cinema chains in the UK. Moses, tell me how you got into doing the work that you do with the Odeon Cinemas. Yeah, thank you very much, Russell, for that question. Um, I got into um, the cinema business um, as a full-time student working a part-time job about nine years ago um, and I got successive promotions while you know doing being a floor worker being a team member um, and my promotions coincided with you know the explosion and the popularity of you know Nollywood films and African cinema and I, I spotted an opportunity to be able to assist or help you know promote you know nollywood culture or nollywood cinemas in mainstream you know um, cinema chains like audion and that's where it's, it started basically so take me back to when what was the year you started what where where were you showing these films originally okay. well we started in 2006 um, i'd worked in audion Tory keys from october 2002 um, we started, the first premiere was held in September 2006 at the Audion Cinemas in Surrey Keys. It was called The Successor and it was for a first time and first of its kind, it was a great success. Um, for, I, 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 doing my research, I found out that there was actually other screenings that were taking place, but they were, they were never taking place in a mainstream cinema chain. They were maybe at Independence. Um, but for us, it was the first official one in the mainstream cinema chain, like the Odeon. And also the Odeon Surrey Keys. And the significance of the Odeon Surrey Keys is that the... Explain where the Nigerian diaspora community is in London, because... Yeah, fantastic. Um, again, that was one of the um, motivations for me. Um, the fact that I was working in a site that was situated in the heart of the African and Nigerian community. So the audiences from Lewisham, from Deptford, from Peckham, from to a large extent even Brixton, yeah. um, to some parts of East London because there was access on the yeah. tube on the East London line. And right the way across to Thames. Right, right the way to yeah. Thames Mid, Abbey Wood, yeah. yeah. There right. was where we were at the heart of it and it just felt right to be able to present something alternative hmm. to, to, to the audience. And those screenings were um, essentially late night screenings? Essentially they were late night screenings. We, we, we didn't have the technical output or the, um, the past or historical records to show that we can do well as a theatrical release. Yeah. So they had to be one-off screenings when we had screen space or screen availability yeah. on Friday and Saturday nights, typically about 10.45 or 11 p.m. Yeah. was when the films were shown. So essentially it was a hire? Essentially it was a hire, it was a screen yeah. hire. Um, we never took care of tickets or advanced booking. The promoters had to do that. Yeah. Um, we just gave them the platform. Um, we selected good films that would be, you know, resonate very well with the audience. And basically that was it. And from the audience point of view, it was the, the advantage was some revenue in in a kind of well-off program slot. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah, I mean, it was it was amazing business for audience. Yeah. Um, business in that we normally not all our screens would be used up at that time of the night. Will not make so much revenues in terms of um, box office. So that was you know additional revenue for screen hires. But that the audience also were very keen on film food. Popcorn, you know, um, nachos, mm. you know, hot dogs, alcohol mm. to a large extent. So it was it was very good business for for the audience. Okay, so let's come up to date. Yeah. Last week, last Thursday, yes. you premiered um, Mirror Boy yes. at the Odeon Leicester Square. The Empire Leicester Square. Sorry, the Empire yeah. Leicester Square. Yeah. The very the very heart of West End cinema. Exactly. So tell me what happened and how that came about. I, I think without jumping the gun, that became one of the most if not the proudest, before I am grammatically wrong, the proudest yeah. moment of my working, you know, um, life or my career at the mm. Odeon, um, being able to facilitate, you know, such a grand premiere. Um, it came about, I had known the filmmaker, um, OBM and Lawyer, 
mm. who incidentally was the director of the first film we shoot in mm. 2006 and um, the successor as i said in sorry keys and we built a relationship and he told me was you know working on this massive project you know that will be shot on a decent camera who would hire the services of a great dop who would be co-producing with uh, up and coming media outfit otv on sky and i just and he felt he said he needed you know a a, a, a world-class venue to showcase this rebirth mm. of nollywood cinema and basically got in contact with you know other friends in cinema chains Odeon would have been excited about doing it mm. but I, I think the capacity we needed and the availability that day kind of suited empire more mm. and um, we went with, with empire and in fact the rest is history so it mm. was it was well attended it mm. was well received by the audience there was a huge mainstream presence as well mm. and we're, we're, we're talking bigger and better things for Evil Mirror Boy as a result of that premiere. You were saying that there's some chance of a theatrical release later in the year. Oh, the chances of a theatrical release for this film and for subsequent Nollywood films coming up later in the, in the year has grown immensely as a result of, of, of the success of, of that premiere on Thursday. Um, it's 95% sure that we'll be looking at 10 plus screens yeah. across, you know, selected um, territories or areas in the UK and that's for sure Mirror Boy is going to come to cinemas near you soon. Okay and in terms of 2010 you showed um, 14 Nollywood films? Exactly 2010 we showed 14 Nollywood films 12 of which were premieres. Um, we, it was a huge year for Nollywood cinema um, and in, 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 in that year as well we had successes with theatrical releases in Nigeria as well so the demand for for premieres increased as as a result. So to, if 2010 was anything to go by, 2011 is like every other week, mm. most likely. There is there is a, it's hard to know how best to describe it, but almost a new wave of Nollywood movies that are less like telenovelas and and more like you know cinematic yes. experiences. Yes. Tell me a little about the kinds of films that you see coming up. We're really excited, very, very excited about this new wave and we, we're happy that one way or the other we, we contributed to, um, you know, getting filmmakers going back to the drawing board and looking at how films should be made, films for cinema. And in direct response to your question, there are a few of them coming up that are looking to, you know, make an impression on not only the Nigerian and African audience, but the larger community as well, international community. They include EJ The Journey, uh, which was shot by a 26-year-old um, student of the New York Film Academy and did amazing um, things in the box office in Nigeria and in Ghana. I think he's looking to go to South Africa and Kenya very soon. Um, won you know, several awards and was in about 24 film festivals. I mean, Mirror Boy definitely is in that category. Um, Anchor Baby, which has won about eight awards in Canada, in the US, in, and has just been nominated for three awards at the African Movie Academy Awards. Um, the Figurin, obviously, which is coming out on DVD soon. Uh, uh, you know, those are examples of films that would go down as classics in Nollywood cinema. Um, we're looking at Jetta Mata's Black Gold also coming you know, very soon. And um, there, there are a number of them. Tango with Me is another film, mm. another one done by Mahmoud Ali Balogun, a, a, a Nollywood veteran director, shot on you know 35 mm. Um, and there are a few more coming up. I've, I've been privy to you know a number of scripts that are very exciting. And just looking at the script, you can see that it's cinematic. You can mm. see that audiences will appreciate it. You know, and mm. and it's exciting times. So, we look forward to all that. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you very much, Russell.